Cleaver Brooks manufactures boilers of many types and sizes, but today we are going to learn how the industrial water tube boilers are made. Raw materials are delivered and then inspected by a full-time receiving inspector. 3.7 million pounds of steel pass through these doors every year. Boilers are basically drums and tubes. The first step in the process is to roll the drum. A Davy plate roller is used to roll thick steel in sections up to 10 feet long. This machine allows us to keep more of the manufacturing in our shop and greatly improves our ability to offer very competitive boiler lead times. Once rolled, the cylinders, otherwise known as shells, are then turned into drums. The cylindrical drum sections are welded together using full penetration welds as required by ASME code. All longitudinal and circumferential seams are x-rayed by a third party and heads and nozzles are installed prior to the drum being placed in our heat treating oven. The oven is approximately 40 foot long. The temperature is monitored, recorded, and approved by the authorized ASME code inspector. Finally, the drums are ready to be moved to the drill. The term drill is actually misleading. This is actually a horizontal milling machine utilizing carbide inserts. This machine was installed back in 2003 and is the true workhorse of the plant. It often runs 24-7. The drill machines seven tube holes sequentially and then goes back and machines the groove for these seven holes prior to repeating the process again. The manufacturing tolerance for these holes is six one thousandths of an inch. That is about the diameter of a human hair. Now that we've seen how drums are manufactured, let's look at tubes. Every industrial water tube furnace utilizes an innovative welded membrane wall design. CB's unique design utilizes 100% membrane construction, otherwise known as water-cooled, on the furnace front and rear walls. This design reduces refractory maintenance and eliminates corner gas seals, which are a significant safety and maintenance hazard on older designs. A custom-built fin tube welder welds two fins to each tube at the same time, and the process is repeated on the opposite side. The practice of welding the fins on both sides ensures that the tubes are straight and true. Once complete, these membrane tubes are sent to the tube bender. These newly finned tubes look like this. Like other equipment in the plant, the tube bender is state of the art. It is an interesting fact that the old unit dated back to World War II and was 100% manual. A CNC unit was installed in 2003 and has saved countless man hours and rework ever since. There is not a single tube in our boilers that is not modified or bent in some way. With the goal of keeping as much manufacturing in-house as possible to maintain the highest quality, a CNC plasma table is utilized to cut up thick steel plate. This unit not only saves time, but also ensures that each piece is identically cut. The head can even articulate to cut beveled edges. The middle bay of our plant is used for assembling the sections of the boiler that will eventually make up a complete unit. Superheaters, drum internals, and piping are all assembled and then moved to the north bay for installation into the boiler frame. Once all component pieces are manufactured, the water drum is set into a base, drum stands are set up to hold the steam drum, tubes are installed, the end walls are added, additional tubing is done, and a boiler hydro test is finally performed at 1.5 times the maximum allowable working pressure as per ASME code. When final assembly and all testing is completed, the unit is ready for our signature boiler blue paint. In 2014, a plant expansion to the west included a new paint booth. We call it a paint booth, but we of course do more than just paint in here. We must first prepare the surface to be painted. This prep includes steel shot blasting with the ability to go to SP10, which is a near white finish. The final step is shipment. Size and weight are most often the determining factors when deciding between a truck or rail shipment. Smaller units generally ship by truck, but as the units get larger, the size and weight are too big and we sometimes switch to using the railroad. For our biggest units, we go back to shipping over the road using very specialized heavy haul trailers. These trailers can have many dozens of wheels to evenly spread the weight over the road. And that is how a Cleaver Brooks industrial water tube boiler is made.